it, I don't know, it doesn't have to be like Photoshop or something. Um, maybe you can even just print out the, the layout and use a piece of yarn. Um, and what I do is like I open up the layout like this and I'll literally create, you know, lines. Like I say, if you're starting here, I kind of like drag them out like this and I literally line up like where the shots are. Like, and I, if I know the bunkers, like I know those are temples, so I'm not going to be able to shoot through those. And I drag them around, and I'm basically like, well, from the, you know, back center Dorito shooting position, I don't really have a shot until, like, here, which is past the... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the snake side. I'm confused by the Doritos. Um, so, but yeah, back center snake side position. I don't really have that many shots from the back center until I'm maybe here. No there I can shoot over that cake to shoot the landing zone of the god you know that looks like it could be really tight and depends on how they grid the field for if I can shoot the landing zone of the snake um, and obviously and I can you know I'll, I'll sometimes leave them there so I can kind of see and obviously as you move up that's such a big cake that one foot here or there is going to make a big difference so that shot wouldn't matter how they grid. That's a pretty big gap, and if you move up, as you move up into the into the big brick, it looks like you'll have a pretty clear shot on snake one on the break. So some of these initial thoughts, I'm like, okay, make snake on the break. You know, maybe not as high percentage as I thought because I feel like people are going to play this, um, especially if you can just tell a dude, hey, go there and dump pods on the snake one cut. Um, but you know, obviously, you gotta you gotta feel out how the field plays, um, maybe having even looked at the shots in the snake, you know, maybe it's not as effective as people think, so if you're going to dedicate a guy to dump pods there, it's not the move, so, um, but this is, this is kind of how I use the grid to see shots, I kind of get a, get a good feel for what can shoot what, um, and I spend a lot of time on this, I'm like going to be kind of brief for this video, um, and, you know, when you're kind of just, you know, home by yourself in your own zone, you're thinking about a lot more things, but I'm just trying to give you some insight into, you know, how I sort of approach these layout releases before I even walk on the field so I have a good idea of what does what. Um, but what I like to do is I, I honestly, I'll make, like, lines and shots for every bunker, basically, and get a good feel for, you know, I want to be here because it can shoot Snake One, it can shoot the Command Center, it can shoot the God, it can shoot the, you know, like, et cetera. Um, that's kind of how I'll lay out these things so I can and fill them out. So this is what I use the grid for. Um, as a two, I mean, you can kind of get a good sense, like there's five bunkers across the back on every layout since forever, basically. Um, so the two will probably play this can and follow up as one. It's going to go into here, so I'll probably maybe end up into here, depending on, you know, it looks like as a two, I'd still, if they're not wide, I still want to probably be here because... I could hold the wire of my mirror, and if they're stuck in the can, I don't know if I'd necessarily want to move because I can't keep him from moving to my mirror because that other Aztec's in the way. So that's interesting. Um, this is also a tower, so I could move here, and I could definitely contain him, but it's a straight-up shot, so if he put me in for just a second, I would it'd be hard for me to roll off and shoot in between that. So these are shots I'm looking at, like if I'm going to play the two, kind of roll through all the scenarios. Then I go, if I'm going to play the one, I kind of go through all the scenarios. If I'm going to stay in the back and shoot, go through all the scenarios. So this is me kind of rolling through, like what it, life is a two on the Doritos at Atlantic City. Um, yeah, I mean, this looks like a pretty good spot to contain. Obviously, if they're down... If they're in the Doritos down the wire, let's consider that option. So that's where it might get hairy, right? If I'm in here, I can't do anything. That guy can get low and go to that wing. If he's in the wing, I can't see him go past that. If he's in that, I can't see him go past that. If he's in that, I still can't see him go past that. If he's in the in the R wing, I still can't see him around that. He can literally get to my freaking bunker before I can see him. Let's say I'm in this can. I can't see him around that tower because that our tower blocks it out. I can't see him around the wing because two bunkers. Around that because he's low. Around that because of the wedge. So that is normally a red flag to me that, you know, 
we, this is like a red alert call. The dude's in here. We need to find a spot where we can contain the bumps because that looks way too easy. Same with this. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah, not good. Uh, that's a pin. And I bet you, well, I don't know. I would not want to play this pin because looking how close it is to this can, one, it looks like Bounce Shot City. It's a little further up, so maybe not. Two, it looks like the god based... Nah, it's close. I was going to say, who can just rip your pack if you're trying to hold the Ds? Um, I don't know. I mean, it looks okay, but normally it's kind of sketch to play a pin like that as a hold spot. But who knows? It might be there. I mean... Huh, I don't know How about this brick. Here we go. Here's some spots to contain. So, screw the can. Let's see what I can shoot from back here is the two. I could, on the break, if I'm even outside of the box just a little bit, I could shoot that guy on the break. That's a good shot. That's the first couple balls out of my gun, shooting that can. Or the guy running to the corner. It's not high percentage, but there is a lane there. I also have... Eh, that's pretty much blocked. That's blocked. Eh, that's going to be really tight lane to shoot that corner from back there. Let's see if I... Same thing over here if I speed up just a little bit. That looks better. It's pretty tight to Arcan. And it's... Eh, I don't know. Maybe. If the grid's laid out a certain way. Let's say I just go low and step out. That looks... Eh, it's blind because our pin is in the way. I wouldn't really like to shoot over that to gauge my where my shot is landing for that corner. So, shooting the tape on the break doesn't look easy. That looks pretty good. Go there inside. I kind of like that shot. I kind of like this. Running up this way and shooting that on the break. You could shoot that as your first heavy zone. Shoot that. And then you have, as you get into your bunker, you definitely have the outside of the corner. So I like that so far. Because um, you, can, you can keep that guy from bumping up. So what made me kind of look at that is because I realized... You know, I'm looking over here, and like, well, if I'm the two, it looks really hard to contain the guy down the wire. And then my mindset goes, well, if I'm the one, it looks really hard to contain me. And then my mindset is, man, if I have to be the, you know, the, the guy over here that contains, where would I want to do it from? So that's why it's good to look at all these spots and, like, have the mindset of, like, what would I do if I'm that person? Because it opens up the, the, the concept of how the field plays as a whole. It's not just, like, I do my thing, right? So that's sort of... Where, am I, where I'm going. Um, I like that. I like that. That's a huge bump. That looks close. So you've got that, that. You've got him rounding the wedge. You've got the inside of the wedge. We can't shoot at you. So you've got all sides of the wedge, over top of it, whatever. Um, you've got, once he's in the tower, the Dorito 1, it looks like you can get to the wedge for free. It's a pretty tight shot right there. It might be there, um, but who knows? And if you did it from right at the edge of the bunker, we've actually been playing. That's really tight. Maybe. Um, and at least you have this. So from this from this spot right here and that spot right there, it looked really bad to contain the Doritos. So maybe that's not where we do it from. But you can also fight fire with fire. There's going to be moments where. I'm stood up high, and I'm shooting right down on my dude right there. I know he might be trying to get low and wrap and bump, so that's an opportunity for me to, you know, use use my height advantage and, you know, shoot down on him there. I know that if I can beat him, if I can win at this game to here, to here, to here, like there's, you know, I mean, and then basically get out on my dude on this line while he's doing that low wrap game and just melt him, that would be sweet. Um... Let's see. I like this corner. 
because I can run out here basically spraying over the top of this because this thing is two grids up. It's 10 feet off the start box. And as people kind of walk up into there or half, half jog up into there, when you go out this way running and shooting and your paint is, you know, right over top of this thing, your first few balls from right here are over the top of that thing. That's awesome because that paint is going to drop right into there. Literally, if your paint is perfect, your first step off the box and you're running out wide, or even not running out wide, your, your paint's perfect, it's, you know, it's going to be hard. To, you're going to have to get into this thing quick. So it might have these shots on snakes on the break and quick shots to, like, the, the beasts and all this stuff or the, the Chicago. Um, but I like this corner because it looks like I can see a lot of stuff. I can run out this way, too. Here, let's clear up some of my, some of my lanes. Um, I can run out to the corner too, and I can not only see, I can put those first balls right here. I can look this way. I can at least have peripheral vision to see if someone's, you know, releasing around this side of the back center to this, which is going to give me, you know, if we just saw that that bunker looks good to the, like, hold off the Doritos, I can kind of see by his body language when I run out this way on the break, you know, is he on me? Because if he's on me running up to this spot, He's probably dedicated to me during that play. And if he's not in there after I make my spot and he's not dead, maybe he released to here. Maybe there's, you know, we haven't looked at it. Maybe there's shots from here where he can camp on me to make a move and I can't see him. So I like that from a Dorito 1 perspective because I can see the dude that's going to mess with me and I'm not going to be totally shocked, at least for that guy. So I like that. Once I get past this zone, I still ha I have some shots right here running and shooting out to the corner. I don't, I mean, that looks pretty good if, if this can ends up being successful because um, he's going to have to, you know, he's kind of running out and up into it. So if you have good paint right through this cut, you know, might be good. Um, but what made me kind of say, oh, I like this corner to begin with is I get here and if I look at that, so I have my I have my mirror, right? And I have the Dorito one. I have this, I have this tape battle for sure. And it's sketchy if people are in there because those wings are going to be high. So I have to respect the blind shot from Dorito 1 and the corner kind of inside, etc. So I can't like totally be oblivious to that. But if I get eyes up and I don't have a tape on the break, I like that wrap shot a lot. Contain that guy. Other than that, that guy can't see me. That guy can't see me. That Dorito cut and the, the, the can cut and the back center cut can't see me. That guy sees me, but like we just talked about, I see him on the break. So I get out there and I get eyes up, and I'm like, oh, I, I you know, I know the got one guy I kind of need to mess with, and I have these shots on him to mess with him. I've got a, I've got a cake that I can play over the top on, both sides, high low. I can basically play six different spots of this cake, high low on both sides, um, and over the top left right. So six. He's got, you know, high low, if you want to say medium or something. He's got one side of this bunker to mess with me, so I'll take that. He's going to have paint in the air, and he's going to be dumping, dumping pods, but um, I like that battle. So that's that. Um, I wanna, I'm want going to keep digging into this. I feel like I've been rambling on. Um, if you got any more questions on the layout, just hit me up. I, I like helping you guys. I think uh, after this weekend of practice, I'll have lots more knowledge. Um just forever learning on this kind of stuff. I'm going to keep digging in on this layout, seeing all the shots, um, but I'm not going to be have any sort of bias going into practice. I think the point of this is just to be prepared on what shots are out there, learn the bunker calls, you know, learn what might look effective and what might look good for holding, but don't go in there with this like, oh, let's go to this tower. I have to go to this tower and hold this way. Like, it might work. It might suck. You know, I don't know. Um, we'll see how the field plays out. Um, but do your homework. Um, it's kind of, kind of, how I approach these layouts, so I'm super prepared for practice. Um, I'm gonna take it from there. So um, keep watching the infamous page. Uh, we'll probably give you some more, some more uh, tips from some other players. Um, and I, I could talk about this stuff forever. So um, let's call it quits there. And I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, if you want any more specifics on a certain certain side or a certain certain position or certain play, uh, just hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. I like helping you guys out. So um, that's all I got. Toodaloo.